Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to go through the people workflow of Scarlets and Blues. So to begin, we just press the people button here. Um, so we've divided up the people workflow into just five subject sets. Um, each of these comes from the index of one of the minute books. Um, and you can go and look at the minute book in the National Archives catalogue if you like. This is the catalogue reference here. Um, you just need the first two levels of it. So if you wanted to look at this minute book, it would be WO250 slash 433. That third bit, the one there, will be a reference for the index itself. Um, and that's something that will be created after this project. Um, so the page I want to show you is in this book. So if I press this, it will bring up the index. So these are all the pages from that minute books index that have a list of people's names on. Um, so just to go through these columns quickly, the status column tells you the transcription status of the page. So if it's available, it's there for you to transcribe. If it says already seen, then you've already transcribed it. And if it says retired, then it's had enough transcriptions that we don't need anymore. Um, but you're still able to view the page if you want to. Um, surname starting with, so that tells you what kind, what names you will find on the page, um, what the surnames begin with. Um, it's pretty straightforward, names, surnames rather beginning with A, surnames beginning with B, sometimes it, there are a couple of pages worth. Um, occasionally you get uh, two letters on one page, uh, some letters are missing, like apparently there's nobody with a surname beginning with Z mentioned in this minute book. And then the subject ID over here, these are just links that you click on to start working on that page. Um, so I want to show you L. Uh, so I'm just going to go down to L here and there's the link. So it should now bring up the record. Yep, there it is. So this is uh, the list of people beginning with L. I've picked this page because it just lets me show you a few different things you might run into. Um, so these pages all have this sort of form. There's the letter at the top, surname on the left, initials. Uh, in this spot here, there's often a title. Um, especially if it's a woman, it will tend to say Miss or Mrs. Uh, and then there's um, an association with the military or their job or something else they're associated with, like the Red Cross. Uh, then in the middle, there's the reason they're mentioned in the minute book and then the page that they're mentioned on, or sometimes pages. Um, so we just transcribe this top to bottom. Uh, it's important to transcribe the whole page because otherwise we'll end up with gaps in our records. Um, I'm just going to do the first few records for this example, um, just because otherwise you'll have to watch me do the whole page and that won't be super exciting. Um, so I've done the surname, which is low, forename, which is H. There's no title here, so I'll leave that blank. Position is field RT. We want to catch capture exactly what it says. So although I think that means artillery, I'm not going to expand it out. I'm just going to write RT. The subject is reverts to OP, so that's outpatient, but again, I'm not going to expand it. Uh, Chelsea, in same case. And page 51, so that's quite straightforward. That's our first row. Is there another person to record? Yes, and then we do the next row. So. Lush, excuse my typing, it's not the best. Lush, um, I think that says IJG. I'm not certain about the J, um, but I'll go and have a quick look. We've got a, um, a page of capital letters in our field guide. So if I scroll down this, I'll find my J's. I reckon that's a J, it's this one. Um, so I, J, G, uh, Miss, Woman Clark, joins for duty at RHC. Um, now she's got two page numbers, so she's mentioned on page 67, and then we can see on page 127 she resigns. And the way we catch those annotations is we put them in brackets after the page number like that and we separate the different page numbers with a comma. So if there'd been another one, I would write comma 200 or whatever. Um, so next, 
Um, so now I'm on to level. So yes, there's another person to record. Level. L. Now I really don't know what that middle letter is. So what I can do there is this. This this means I'm uncertain. Um, and then A. Um, I should also say, actually, if, if I had an idea what that letter was, um, I could put that in. So if I reckoned it was, say, a T, which I think it clearly isn't, um, I could put that in there and say, I think it's a T. I'm not sure. That's why I put it in the brackets. Um, but here I'm really not sure. So that will do. Um, and again, the um, title's a bit tricky here as well. Um, so I can see this all seems to be the same hand and miss looks quite clear. So these other ones are probably misses. I think that's a missus, but it looks less clear to me than some of these others. So I might be being too conservative here, but I am going to put my uncertainty brackets around that as well. Um, then her position is, okay, so this thing here means a ditto mark. So we write a modern ditto mark for that. And then we've got it again for the subject. So we put it in again. And she's on page 126. And the next record's going to be quite similar. Um, so that is, I'm going to say Leslie. I'm not trying too hard with the handwriting on this because it's just an example. Um, so if you think this says something different, you might be right. Uh, I think she's a missus. Uh, and then we've got the ditto marks again. And actually, it's page 126 again. And then right okay so this is where it gets a little more tricky um so where we have things like this this is saying all of these women are, are women women clerks and they all joined for duty at the rhc that's what this is about um and we deal with this by writing it out as if that had been written on every line um so we all have low uh i think that's an f let's have another quick look even though i said i wasn't going to try that hard with the letters um I reckon that's an F, so I'm going to put F. And I think that's a V. Could conceivably be a U. I think it's a V. Excuse me, I hit the wrong button there. Um, she's a miss. Uh, woman Clark. So I've changed, um, it says Women Clarks here, but because it's just about her, I've changed it to Woman Clark. Uh, and then it says join for duty at RHC again, because it's singular, I'm going to write joins for duty at RHC. Uh, now the page number, we can see there are two, but this one is connected by an arrow to Miss Lockhart. So I presume it only applies to her. So uh, I'm just going to write 148. Um, I'm assuming this resigns here goes with 147. Um, if I was being careful, I could go and look at page 147 just to check. Is there another person to record? Yes. Um, OK, so now I'm going to work down to Lockhart just so I can show how that works. So I've got to do late first. Um, MK. Mrs. Norman Clark. Joins for... See, a good tip when you're doing these bits is to copy some of the text um, so you can paste it the next time. Although I just pasted it by accident, so that wasn't so helpful. Okay, so now I'm on Lockhart. So, surname Lockhart, uh, full name M. She's a miss. So woman clerk, I copied this so now I can paste it here. Uh, and then you don't have to, but I'm going to put these page numbers in numerical order. So they've got this arrow pointing to us. So I put 147 resigns and then comma for the other page 148. Okay. And then, yes, there is another person to record it. And if I was doing this properly, I would have to complete the page. Um, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to stop here. So I'll hit no. And then these buttons light up. If I'm happy with what I've done and there's nothing more to say about it, I can just hit done. If I've got questions about this page or I want to 
comment on anything about it, discuss anything about it, uh, put a hashtag on it. Uh, I can hit done and talk. That'll take me to a talk page where I can do all of those things. Um, and that's basically it. There are just a couple of slightly unusual cases I want to show you as well. So this is the first one. Uh, you might sometimes see pages like this where there's a name list mixed up with the index. Um, so these are normal index entries. We don't care about these. You can ignore them. What we care about is the names. And you can see here they are. There's a big S uh, and the same sort of format, surname and um, forename, space there where the title could go, uh, regiments, uh, why they're there, why, the, why they were talked about and what page they were talked about on. So that's the information we would want from these, this page, just these two lines. And then this is the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, you wouldn't actually see a page like this because we haven't included any pages that don't have a name list on. But you might see a name list page where there is also an index entry that you might mistake for a name list. Um, so this is a normal uh, index entry. It's about working staff. Um, but it happens to begin with a list of names. That's not what we're interested in. Um, but we just want the name list that start with a big capital letter uh, and are in that sort of standardish format uh, that I've showed you. Um, and so that's it. Thank you for listening.